Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I am going to change the colour slightly as this is Wild Wasabi, which is now retired. And in its place I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz. So for this card you will need a white card base, 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 8, scored at 4 and 1 8, folded in half and burnished. that done. You'll also need a piece of pepper's ass or any colour your choice at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and two pieces of whisper white one at five and five eighths and three and seven eighths for the inside and this one is five and three eighths by three and five eighths that sits on top of the pepper's ass. Right, and you also need some scrap of Whisper White for the Rhino. And this week, what I'm going to be doing is I've picked three stamp sets of the current catalogue, the new current catalogue that I like best, that I've got. And each day, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I'm going to be making a card with them stamp sets. So today it's animal outings and we're going to be using the rhino and the sentiment wild about you I'm also begin, going to be using the waterfront set to use the pebble dash stamp and I'm also going to be using love what you do to be using this background bit so I have them all mounted so with my scrap and that little bit did I do anything inside? oh yeah and the inside bit so first of all with Memento Black we will stamp the Rhino Dumping down, let the ink transfer. And there we have them. Clean the stamp off. That's good. Right, put them to one side to dry so we can colour them in. Right, with the um, front of the card put that away, don't need that no more and a scrap of paper we're going to do the love what you do bit of stamp this one as you can see mine has dyed or stained a nice pink colour but it's still usable Oh, sorry, I didn't say what ink. We're using Pear Pizzazz. So, inking that up. I'm going to stamp off. Oh, it's very pale. And stamp on there. That's fine. Clean my stamp. And then with the Pabo Dash no yeah yeah with the pebble dash we're just going to stamp around the outside of it turning the stamp around as we go and one stamp in the middle let's do a little bit more up here That's fine. And while we've got the peppers as out, I'm just going to stamp this along the bottom. That 
so light down. So clean that. Put this away again. And bring the memento ink out. And the sentiment. I'm going to stamp this just here and pray that it's straight. Nice. So that's the front one. Get rid of that, we don't need that anymore. And this can actually get glued onto there, which we will do. And I use wet glue. You can use uh, snail, tear and tape, whatever you want. Stick this on the card. can stick the inside in as well. Oh. All we've got to wait now is colour it in the rhino just put my lid on my glue while I'm doing that and to do that we're going to use the blends so with light smoky slate we're going to colour in the rhino oh Stop. First thing we've got to do is with a black tip pen, this is a rollerball pen, 0.5mm, I'm going to open his eyes. Yeah, I do like an open eye. Continue to colour him in. thing about this stamping up stamps they do actually do the shading for you and you can just go over them again once you've colored in make it a little bit darker where the shading should be so just scribbling where you think the shading is there we have it and for his task 
we're going to use ivory or ivy depends how you like to say it for the bird we're going to use light cherry cobbler we're going to give him a red body and with light mint macaron we're just going to do his feathers in And I will do his beak in ivory because I forgot to bring an orange out. That's all right. Then with the dies, this die here, you need to cut it out. Just in a bit of paper there. But I've already cut mine out, so. I don't. I will use that another time, it won't be wasted. And then this needs just to be popped up on dimensionals. So, there's a few dimensionals. Let's get a small one to put on the bird. Take the backs off. And just place him on top of your background bit. And there you have it today's card. I'll not put any gems on this one and there's the one I made in wild wasabi and this one's been made in pear pizzazz. Well if you like my card give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my videos please press the subscribe button and the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos that I upload. All I can say is thank you for visiting. See you again soon.